Are you ready to have a great day? This week, we're going to keep talking about the ocean. Remember that O word? Ocean. We're going to start off our week reading part of this very famous book. It's called A House for Hermit Crab. The author and the illustrator is one person. His name is Eric Carle, very famous author. All right, let's look at the illustration on the front cover. I see a swirly shell and I see the crab sort of sitting in the shell. Do you see that? We've got some real shells here. And if you look closely, you can see whoop, the hole inside. Do you see that little hole in that shell? Here's a swirly shell. And if I turn it around, you can see the hole on the back. Do you see that? I wonder why the little crab is wearing a shell on his back. Hmm. Let's find out. Are you ready? Here we go. Time to move, said Hermit Crab. One day in January, I've grown too big for this little shell. He had felt safe and snug in his shell, but now it was too snug means tight. Hermit Crab stepped out of his shell onto the ocean floor. But it was frightening out in the open sea without a shell to hide in. What if a big fish comes along and attacks me? He thought, I must find a new house soon. Oh, so his little shell protects him and keeps him safe but he must be growing, right friends? So if he's growing and the shell gets too snug, yes, he's gotta go find a new shell. Early in February, oh, it's a new month. Hermit Crab found just the house he was looking for. It was a big shell and strong. He moved right in, wiggling and waggling around to see how it felt and it felt just right. But it looks so, well, so plain, thought Hermit Crab. What does plain mean? In this case, it means kind of boring. He doesn't like the way his shell looks. I think it's very pretty, but he's not liking it a whole lot. In March, a new month, Hermit Crab met some sea anemones. They swayed gently back and forth in the water. How beautiful you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and live on my house? It is so plain, it needs you. I'll come, whispered one small sea anemone. Gently, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his shell. Do you see him holding the little sea anemone? It looks like a plant or a flower, doesn't it? But it's not. It's, a, it's an animal. It's alive. In April, new month, Hermit Crab passed a flock of starfish moving slowly along the sea floor. How handsome you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come decorate my house? I would, signaled the little sea star. Carefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his shell. So he has two creatures now on his shell. He's got the sea anemone and the sea star or the starfish. In May, that's this month, May, Hermit Crab discovered some coral. They were hard and didn't move. How pretty you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come make my house more beautiful? I would, creaked a crusty coral. Gingerly, softly, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. Okay, friends, he had two ocean friends on his shell, but we just added one more. How many does he have on his shell now? Three. That's right. 
one, two, three. In June, Hermit Crab came to a group of snails crawling over a rock on the ocean floor. They grazed as they went, picking up algae and bits of debris. That means they're eating. How tidy and hard working you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and help clean my house? I would, said one of the little snails. Happily, Hermit Crab picked him up with his claw and placed it on his shelf. Well, we had three ocean creatures and he just added that snail. How many does he have now? That's right. Let's check. Four. One, two, three, four. That's where we're going to stop for today. And tomorrow on Tuesday, we'll read the next part of our good book. Okay, that's a house for hermit crab. You know what's cool about this book, friends? On the back cover, I see a picture of the author. I see a picture of Eric Carl. He's this man right here. Do you see his picture? And that's his son right there. This man, he has a beard. That's Eric Carl, very famous author. Come back in the next video, friends, and we're going to do some different kinds of reading and give out some more awards. So come back later.